Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. It's good to have you here. My name is Gemma. I am an advanced cultist, mother of two, and a criminologist. So, this one I want to talk about the Kabbalah again. And I want to talk about it in a way where how we can rise and to remove ourselves from like anything that's stopping us so we can rise from this to innocence okay so i always say this when well, you come in intact okay so we are come through intact always right so this is an aspect of innocence justice truth equality love peace okay so there's lots of things that can come to an i know energy and this is just my underpinning of it right so let's get into the um understanding of this so this is our bodies this and we can understand through this concept um that we can experience things in life that can bring us down for whatever reason brings us down and this can happen through traumatizing events in our lives this can be um any understanding of aspects of um death or in a spiritual way um or in a you know aspects of physical stuff not an actual death because then you go type thing you already go but um this is about understanding like through life how we can be traumatized and think things like this and we can fall on this right and this is how we can acquire just hanging around here a lot and branching up branching out for support and then aspects of judgment so it's almost like here is the space where um we can fall to and it's really about freeing us from this constraint so we can rise to an aspect of knowing i know and i think this is not pluto i think this is neptune and i think this is i just think that's pluto i think that's neptune this is like a neptunian energy to me right so i've experienced this this is neptunian energy right so um through this we can fall okay we, we can either hit this and it can be quite plutonium but that's more that side i think because it hurts when you rise to a wisdom a pineal gland it's a wisdom concept but i do think this one's more of a this hurts yeah and then this one's more like a, a release of that i do know i can release that and then you rise to it okay so over type thing peace innocence love so on this so on this we can understand a stream of um how we can fall the rise the fall okay the rise and the fall but also it's almost like the body as well what well, we can get into that another time but this time i wanted to talk about how we can experience the rise and the fall and how we can get stuck down here and how you can stay there and this is about rising freeing yourself from the constraints and rising to understanding wisdom and knowing so we can have traumatizing experiences in our lives where this can drag us down i want to say it in a different way this time though so you might have been traumatized like something really bad might have happened to you in your lifetime and it's and what it is is it's about understanding that you can let that go that's a fragment and it's in your brain or it's in the back of your head and you can remember something really traumatizing that's happened to you okay and um what can happen in this situation is it can pull you down in, into here because if you've had so much traumatizing happen to you you can feel not good enough there's something there so it's not quite right where you can feel that something isn't quite good enough that right? something's happened you can get shelled in this space or this space 
which is supportive, which can break you out. But you can also fall into this space and it can stop you from having a, uh, a fulfilling life in your, in your own time, in your own understanding. So you can fall to this thinking, oh, like I'm disgusting type thing. You know, this really bad thing happened to me, I feel disgusting. Yeah, this is like a victim sort of position. I feel disgusting because this happened to me type thing, right? So you can have this, you can stick your ear. And um, so this isn't really a nice place to be, to be at, this has happened, which I'm sure it's happened to everybody to a degree. I can see that this has happened to a lot of people in life. And if you haven't, you've been very lucky, right? But there's always been something that, you know, might make you not feel good, quite good about yourself. So you need that support type thing at the table to branch you out, to wisdom, to melt, to wisdom. So you can let let go from this space. So whatever you can do to let you go from this space, this is this bit. And it lets you go type thing, okay? So really, this part is the worst one to be shelled at. Because you could have had something happen to you and, it, and it's fragmented you. So this is this through that space here, fragmentation. And um, this is where a dispersion can take place where you might not want to rise to that because you are stuck because something happened and it's in your mind and you can't rise to that because it won't let you type thing. But it's almost like you might not be able to remember something that's happened to you and, you know, it, it'll stop you from rising here. Okay. And um, this is true. So um, what can happen is, is that in this space, um, this judgment needs to be released. Okay. You, so you need support. Somebody needs to tell you what you need to support you. Instead of pushing you down here, making you stay here. So that you can rise with love. Okay, because I like that bit there. <laughs> so you can rise with love okay up there and understand that this isn't your fault if you break that you break that that's not your fault that's not your fault that, that's what's happened to you you know it wasn't your fault yeah if you was a victim this isn't your fault and this is really to bridge that gap there to understand that i'll bring to you is that this can stop us from living living fulfilling lives this can actually encourage people to then go on to hurt other people. So this is like a where um, tendencies of narcissism can erupt. This is where this can happen, right? And it's because they haven't dealt with their own stuff. It's in the back of their mind. And they've not rose and they don't want they don't want to acknowledge it. So they stay here. Down here. And um Sometimes we're pushed down here as well by other people. You know, they might have had traumatising experiences in their lives and they don't want to deal with theirs. They're in a position of power maybe and they just want to push you down. It's going to happen too. So really what it is, it's about understanding that that's not your fault, what's happened to you. It's not your fault. Okay? We're not all one. Right? We're not all one. Because that experience happened to you, it didn't happen to anyone else, did it? Okay, it happened to you. And this is, you, this is obviously you can find people with similar situations, you can find people with similar understandings, you can find people who had similar, um, you know, happenings. But that particular situation, that particular event that took place, that's got no, no one else can understand that apart from you. It's in the back of your head. And it's almost like when you release that knowing of what's happened to you, you'll fall back straight back down here. That's about you. I've said this before, but... Or you've, you you already know, and it's kind of showed you here. So you can be an aspect of self-judgment because you don't feel good about yourself because of what somebody else has done to you, right? It's very far away from me now because this is kind of like where I can come from with an understanding of how to break it out okay so really what it is is you need some support or you can support yourself by reminding yourself that this isn't your fault okay
okay? What happened to you when you was a kid or something wasn't your fault, all right? It's not. Simple as that. It's not your fault. It's that person's fault for doing it. And they probably sit here as well. They won't strike you down with them, type thing. So it depends really how you want to look at it. And it depends, you know, but as a vic to speak to a victim, um, to understand these concepts, if you were a victim of, um, you know, anything like child abuse, because like, this is sort of something I studied in criminology. So this is just like how I'm going to relay it back to understanding aspects of Kabbalah so that we can sort of bring this together so you can rise. Because that's what I want you to do. Victims, okay, that have been victims as children, right? This is what I want you to do. I want you to be able to rise. I want you to be able to break out of that shell because you don't deserve to be there. Just because what somebody else has done to you. Do you understand that? You don't deserve to be in that space because it's what somebody else has done to you. Because it's not your fault. Because I'm here and I'm telling you, it's not your fault. Right? So don't listen to anybody who wants to talk garbage. Make you feel like you're not good enough. Don't listen to it. It's absolute crap. So, to be honest, in these situations... I wouldn't even contemplate listening to anybody at that stage. Just close your ears. Don't listen to them. Because it's garbage. If you know, because you'd have reached it, or you might have accessed it again, you know, I know energies. Because you can do that really easy if you can just let that go. Let that pain go. Because it's not it's not yours, is it? Somebody else did it to you. It's, but that's, it should be them that has judgment on themselves. Right? So as victims, we can fall into that mind frame where, if you was a victim, you can fall into the mind frame where you might not want to share because it's too much to share. And there's a lot of trust that has to come with this, which is an aspect of mercy. It's trust. So um, to trust somebody to do what they need, they need to break out of this area. That takes a lot of dedication for that person to do as well because that person might have told that person who gave them that trauma, which is stored in their brain at the back, or you know, whatever. I am bad type thing here. I'm not good enough. Maybe um, they can try and make you feel like you have to stay here forever because they've pushed you up here to wisdom of I think I'm not a good person because of what someone else has done to me. So it's psychological abuse. Stuff like this, okay? So psychological abuse or something like this. So what you can do is you 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 see that you see yourself and you just understand that person's doing that, but you'll get end up going back down again, straight back down to here, because you already know that that person's trying to show you, and they're not they're not being honest, or they might be hurting you, and this is like where you can be shelled in that concept, or well, you can always break out because you know who you are. Because somebody's already taught you that. Somebody's already reminded you that. Whether it's a self-help motivation talk on YouTube or if it's something, you know, that you've watched, you can rise that energy, right? So if you're trying to show people in this space or leave them there, and they're a victim, then that's cruel. Because I can understand now this can work as well because you can flip these and then rise. So it's like almost like being traumatised. Okay? It's like, oh my god, this was my trauma. Smash. Well that's a Pluto that's a Platonic position. So it depends what's in the middle here. Okay? Because it can alternate. So it depends what this is. That's why I think that there's change. The alternate time the uh, planetary alignments alternate. What if this is happening to you? Well obviously they're not good people who are acting, doing this. Okay? But they're perpetrators or offenders. And it doesn't matter whether they're in a position of power or not. They're still an offender. So, what I really want to get to is, is that you can rise from this stream. Let go of all that garbage that somebody's told you you're not good enough. La-di-da-di-da. -da -da. And... 
you know, we've got to realise that, you know, we're not all one as well. So when we get here, we're not all one. We're not all one up here. It's your own I know energy or your specific um, position. That's why there's nine on my theory of the crown. Because there's many different ways where we can reach crown. There's many different understandings how we can get from here to here. And it's just sort of like bridging that gap in the understanding that we can do that. And there's many ways we can achieve it as well. Um, through understanding aspects of being a victim, to being a survivor. So you're a victim to being a survivor. Okay, and it's about untrapping yourself out of this and this position. Let, releasing it, I that's not my fault. So if you're here stuck here and then you smash out of it with support, I do get support. I do understand it's not my fault. I feel into my wisdom or I do feel into my, I, I do know I am. So you can go back up here. I feel into my wisdom. I feel it. I can and sense it. Come back down and rise up to there. Something bad did happen to me. I am aware that something bad happened to me. But ultimately here, I know I can reach this space because it wasn't justified. You don't deserve to be sat here shelled. Okay? You are too good to be sat here shelled. You should be there. All your children, there. Right? You're too good for this. Okay? Because that's what an offender wants us to be. They want us to be there. They don't want us to rise. This is how we get pushed down. But they're down anyway, because of what's happened to them, and they're not recognising their stuff. So they're creating trauma and bringing it onto the masses or whatever, or in their place or wherever they work, or, you know, it could be anywhere. You can find these people in a walking round in, in public, yeah? And they uh, might offend, right? So you can rise to this, I know, energies, um, that you deserve better, and you always did. And this is the reality. You always did deserve that. That's why um, it was your victim and, you know, there should be an aspect of justice that takes place. And if there isn't, well, there's something wrong with it, but you can also find it within yourself, within your mind, within your body, okay? So this can be an external factor of an aspect of justice, if you like, but it's also an internal aspect of justice. I know. I know I'm... I know I'm safe. I know that, um, you know, that's not going to happen to me. And um, it's stopped now, type thing. It's over. All right, so this is kind of like where you can come from with knowing this, how we can rise from an aspect of being a victim to a survivor. Okay, that's up here. And you have to, obviously, you know, it does go that way. It's very hard to go that way sometimes because we can go to understanding, but then un understand for that other person. Like, yeah, we can understand that other person. They've been traumatised, maybe. That's why they reacted. But then you're going to go back straight back here again. And that's not how you're supposed to go about this. Go that way instead. Because this will just bring understanding for that person. Not you. So, move along. 